good evening. The cross has a few more miles to go. It will arrive here at uh, Asunciation uh, School uh, tomorrow afternoon, and so far this week it has traveled a lot of ground. Resting on Michelle Cruz's shoulder, on the northbound shoulder of Garfield Avenue, is a 40-pound wooden cross. A wheel helps ease the burden, but the group is on a mission to walk 120 miles in three days, stopping at four missions along the way. Knee hurts. I think I'm about to lose a toenail. <laughs> Darren D. Harris is pushing through the pain to raise money for his daughter's school. Immaculate Conception in Monrovia has struggled with enrollment and merged resources with Annunciation Middle School in Arcadia to cut costs. I value the uh, Catholic education that my daughter's receiving as, as well as the school, and I just want to see it continue. The group set out on Wednesday from Mission Basilica in San Diego, walking 40 miles per day in order to reach Mission San Gabriel on the eve of Good Friday. Cars pass by and they honk and give you the thumbs up, so... But it feels good to have that. The support is widespread, from random drivers to the warm welcome that awaits them at Mission San Gabriel. I'm looking forward to see them coming up the street and, and, and really show that, uh, that we appreciate their efforts. We're here, we made it! Woo! Finally, after a long journey, they can rest and rejoice. <laughs> and although they have blisters, sore muscles, and stiff joints, the trek, they say, was well worth it. We met so many cool people along the way, and just was a little wake-up call that the world is like full of awesome people that really are good-hearted, and so that was just, the journey was excellent. And tomorrow morning, the group and anyone who would like to join them and make a donation can carry the cross on a 10K walk or run starting at 1130 at Mission San Gabriel, or you can join them for the last 3.1 miles at 1.30 in the afternoon in Temple City at Live Oak Park. The walk ends here at Annunciation School.